I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, June 6th. Not much change in the overall picture today. Warm, moist, unstable air, scattered showers and storms. Some of the storms could pack a punch. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the big picture. On the synoptic scale, it's the same deal. We have this upper high over Texas, and storms develop on top of that upper high over the southern plains. They rotate down in here on the eastern flank of the upper high. And at daybreak, we had one shower up in uh, Lawrence County producing heavy rain north of Moulton. And we could see a few showers clearly around this morning, but the uh, stronger storms will likely come during the peak of the daytime heating process later today, early tonight. North and west of Alabama, flash flood watches in effect for parts of the Mid-South, North Mississippi, West Tennessee, North Arkansas. And uh, we note back into parts of Oklahoma and the Texas panhandles, a severe thunderstorm watch early this morning. This is the severe weather risk, the convective outlook for today and tonight, the standard slight risk for a pretty large part of Alabama, except for the northeast and the southwestern corner of the state. And like yesterday, the primary threat will be from strong straight-line winds. The higher probabilities are west of the state across the southern plains, but no doubt some of the storms this afternoon early tonight could produce some strong winds, maybe enough in some cases to knock down trees and power lines, much like we saw yesterday. Then tomorrow, we've got the standard slight risk west of the state from Memphis over to near Albuquerque, including much of Oklahoma. And on day three, the low end 5% severe weather possibilities. That's Sunday, and that is over the northern half of Alabama, but no organized formal risk. Here's the rain for the next five days. Oklahoma getting some really good early summer rain. Uh, this is great for the southern plains. That good soil moisture will help to mitigate the intense heat later in the summer. In our state, the amounts vary from nearly two inches around the shoals down to uh, small amounts for Mobile and Baldwin counties. And again, if your beachbound weather looks pretty good down there, just isolated showers, lots of sun each day through early next week. Weather in the tropics, the circle guys have ramped up our Bay of Campeche system to a 50-50 chance of developing within the next 48 hours, but uh, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to sit down there for days, and again, the upper winds probably become harsh again over the weekend. It's a small window for this thing to get its act together, but it won't affect us one way or the other. Check the modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid today at 1 o'clock Central Time. This is at 500 millibars. You can see the upper high centered uh, on the western Gulf Coast and energy rotating on the top of that thing and down around the eastern flank. And uh, down below that, same deal, showers and storms from Oklahoma into Alabama. This is the HRRR model, valid uh, today at 3 o'clock, and it shows the showers fairly scattered in nature. This is the high-res NAM tonight at 9, and it shows an organized batch of storms coming in here. And understand, even with mesoscale modeling, it's very hard for us to forecast the exact placement and coverage of these summer storms. They're very, very challenging. Uh, but no doubt they'll be out there. And in terms of the uh, instability values, this is the projected CAPE off the NAM at 7 o'clock this evening. And this is suggesting the higher CAPEs down south uh, over the southern third of the state. But it just it's all a matter of where the sun is out for a while and where temperatures get up toward 90. Uh, one way or the other, the instability is certainly sufficient for a few severe storms. But like yesterday, the helicity is basically non-existent. So tornadoes will not be a problem. It's uh, small hail and strong straight line winds. And we'll keep an eye on things. Highs today, probably upper 80s. The uh, NAM is at 87, the GFS at 89. Tomorrow as we start the weekend, I'd say if anything, showers should be a little fewer in number. Partly sunny, the chance of scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. Highs 87 to 90. Let's look at Saturday evening at 7 and just not showing a whole lot out there from the high res NAM. Sunday, pretty much the same deal. Scattered showers and storms. A mix of sun and clouds. Highs 87 to 90. And we're just going to broad brush our forecast to include that same deal through much of next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, little surface low forms over Missouri. This is uh, Wednesday. 
That feature moves up towards Chicago, and that, that little trailing boundary might bring some enhancement of uh, the coverage of showers and storms toward the middle of the week. This is Thursday, pretty moist, and it's a week from today. Look at that uh, troughing down and through here. That's great. Again, in the summer, you just don't want to see a big old upper high. You want to see something like that to keep the heat down. And down below that, again, uh, moist air, scattered showers and storms. For most of next week, looks like highs in the mid to upper 80s. Check the uh, end of the forecast, June 21st, 594 heat bubble over the southwest. And again, little energy not too far from here. That suggests highs in the 80s with showers possible. Here's a look at the uh, projected temperatures off the uh, GFS Ensemble for the next 15 days. And no, there's no specific skill beyond 7, but this just gives us a look at trends. And the trend is clear in that we don't see any excessive heat. Notice highs generally stay under 90, and I think that trend is correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Notes in the blog. I'll be in Gadsden this evening, so no afternoon video today. My next video will be here Monday morning by 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the updates here tomorrow and Sunday. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening, on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.